Now, Australia's potato shortage has left customers swooping in like seagulls to grab frozen chips at the supermarket. But what if we told you that you didn't need potato for great chips? Uh-huh. Clinical nutritionist mm. Sarah DiLorenzo is here with her recipe revamps. Morning, Sarah. Good morning. OK, everyone loves a chip, uh, but the veggie version, is it really just as good as the potato version? I actually think it's fantastic. So what I've done is I've made chips from carrots, simple and so easy to do. Pretty much you just obviously cut a carrot in the shape of a chip. I've tossed it through some paprika, olive oil, mm. and I've just into the oven for 20 minutes. One thing I love about using carrots in recipes, because this is so healthy, is people forget like there's um, 25 calories in half a cup of carrot, there's 73% of your recommended daily intake of vitamin A, and using things like paprika and, and um, uh, herbs like parsley is another way of bringing a lot of nutrient density into meals like paprika is mm. great, so great for lowering blood pressure it's also an, again a great source of vitamin A and parsley is a natural diuretic and great for lowering blood pressure okay. so super healthy chips there carrot chips mm. and so easy to do well we, we usually do sweet potatoes I thought carrots or whatever but you're doing a sweet potato gnocchi. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All the Italians would be happy about that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And again, another really easy recipe. So you just grab your sweet potato into the oven, just poke some holes in it for about 50 minutes. And I think sweet potato truly is an absolute so, superfood. So what do you do? You, so you, you, get you mush the sweet potato Yeah, up. so you put the sweet potato in the oven and you put it in there for like... What, hole? Hole with its skin on, so it cooks in the centre. Take open Open up the jacket of the sweet potato when it, and let it cool. Then you just put an egg through, some parmesan cheese. I use two different types of flour. I use an almond flour because I love all the health benefits right. of that. And I also use a tapioca flour because it's got some ma magnesium and it. iron. Mm, and okay. then you just knead it, right. roll it out, right. cut it into boiling water and just a very easy version. So cook it for... Oh, OK. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was yes. wondering yes. how you did that. That's yeah. a great idea. I know it is. It's mm. again very easy. And the old favourite mash. OK, so a complete mash. Over and this is just if a recipe could scream health benefits, I swear it's this recipe here. Three ingredients, pretty much. So, I just steamed some cauliflower that I steam with some garlic. Garlic's just got so many health benefits, it's great. It's a prebiotic, it's also excellent for um, our immune system. Steamed that together with the, um, with the cauliflower and then in the food processor, some olive oil, and there you have... The garlic. Yeah, the, the, yeah, Beautiful. Have, mm. Yes. OK. Now, the match. piece de resistance, oh, a potato bake without potato. <laughs> How can you do that? With eggplant. And eggplant's oh. extremely healthy, so I love using eggplant in recipes here. So basically just got the eggplant, sliced it, put it into the oven for 30 mm. minutes, and then I just did layers of it. So I did a layer with some uh, mozzarella cheese, low in oh. fat, and then some... Uh, I put oats over the top, and there you have it, an eggplant oh. bake. Simple, easy, incredibly delicious. With lots and of there you have yes. loads Beautiful. of recipes. With mozzarella. Yeah, with mozzarella, mozzarella cheese. OK, well, I like these. Yeah, they're great, great ideas. They're yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. You can find all the recipes on the Sunrise website.